So guys, the video you're about to watch now is on INEC response. We all know that INEC has written their own address. And in that address, the counsel to INEC argued that Peter Obi failed to show that he scored the majority of the votes during the presidential election. So guys, let me just allow you to watch this video. Just take your time and watch this video and listen to INEC's empty report. I mean the address that they've just submitted. See how empty it is. And you will confirm that INEC knows that Peter Obi won this election. Just take a look at this. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has argued that Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, failed to show how he scored the majority of lawful votes during the 25 February presidential election. Obi, who came third in the election, had filed his petition at the Presidential Election Petition Court in Abuja to challenge the outcome of the polls on the grounds of allegations of electoral fraud, among other alleged irregularities. He urged the court to nullify President Bola Tinubu's victory in the poll. He also called on the court to either declare him the winner of the election or order a fresh poll. The INEC guidelines on the conduct of the elections were extensively breached and INEC has evidently been very reluctant to make the necessary adjustment to remedy the situation. Contrary to the publicly advertised guidelines for the conduct of the elections, we are convinced that the processes leading to the results have been severely compromised. Peter Obi and his party, LP, also allege that Bola Tinubu and Vice President Kashim Shatima were not qualified to vie for Nigeria's presidency. They said Tinubu was convicted of drug-related crimes and forfeited $46,000 in the U.S. They also accused Kashim Shatima of double nomination by their party, the All Progressives Congress, APC. The petitioners contended during the trial of the case that Tinubu was not duly elected by the majority of the lawful votes cast at the election. Peter Obi and Labour Party called 13 witnesses to back his claims. Hey. The five-member panel of the court, led by Harun Samani, later ordered parties to the case to exchange their final addresses at the end of the trial. In its final written address, INEC, through its lead lawyer, Abubakar Mahmoud S.A.N., said Obi's petition lacks merit. Responding to allegations of Shatima's double nomination, Mahmoud said the APC had in a letter dated 6 July 2022, received on 13 July 2022 by INEC, whether on his candidacy for Boronu Central Senatorial District, to clear the way for his nomination as Tinubu's running mate. He clarified that Mr. Shatima's voluntary withdrawal preceded his nomination as Tinubu's vice presidential pick. Also addressing the issue of Tinubu's alleged trafficking of narcotic drugs in the U.S. and referencing a letter from the U.S. government tendered during the defense, Abubakar Mahmoud S.A.N. said that there was no criminal charge, sentence or conviction to support the allegation of criminal conviction or for feature. He added that the alleged order of forfeiture, being that of a foreign court, is not registered in Nigeria and therefore not enforceable. Mahmoud argued that it's been over 20 years since Judge John Nobbeg of a United States District Court made the alleged forfeiture order dated 4 October 1993. On the issue of INEX failure to upload polling units result of the presidential election to its result viewing portal, in real time on 25 February, Abubakar Mahmoud contended that electoral officers could not transmit the image of the results to the IRF portal due to the technical glitch that occurred on the e-transmission application hosted by Amazon Web Service. During his testimony, INEX sole witness had tendered the Amazon Cloud Trail in support of the claim that there was a technical glitch on the commission's portal during the presidential poll. Mahmoud said the evidence of INEC sole witness, Lawrence Bayode, an assistant director at the commission's ICT department, was uncontroverted. 
Mr. Biodi, during his testimony, stated that he was one of the persons who designed the INEC e-transmission system and helped resolve the technical glitch that occurred on election day. Petitioners Peter Obi and Labour Party neither pleaded nor demonstrated during the trial that unlawful votes of the second respondent, Bola Tinubu, be discounted from the computed scores of the parties, nor did they prove or present any lawful vote to be added to their own. On Peter Obi's contention that Tinubu ought not to be declared the winner of the election for failing to score 25% of lawful votes cast in the Federal Capital Territory FCT in the presidential election, the Commission said it had nothing to do with lawful votes or unlawful votes. INEC noted that the issue is clearly one of interpretation of the relevant constitutional provisions. In INEC's final address, Abubakar Mahmoud added that Peter Gregory Obi failed to lead credible evidence to aid his case. He said there was no mandatory obligation prescribed by the Electoral Act for INEC to transmit and collate election results electronically or to upload same on IREF before collation of results fully. In the court filing dated 14 July, Mahmoud Sayan said the evidence presented by the petitioners, Peter Obi and the Labour Party, failed to make out a case that the second and third respondents, that is, Tinubu and Shatima, are not qualified to contest the election. He argued that Section 134, Subsection 2 of the Constitution only requires a candidate to have scored the highest number of votes cast and at least one quarter of the votes cast in two-thirds of all the states in the Federation and the FCT as an aggregate of 37 states. The petition, for want of evidence, deserves to be dismissed. So guys, you can see how empty this address is. I mean, the report written by INEC, you can see how empty it is. That Peter Obi couldn't prove that he won the election. We know that Peter Obi brought reasonable number of evidence before the court. So they cannot just use technicality and begin to say things that don't have meaning. You know, to say that Peter Obi does not have any evidence that he won this election. And also, they try to claim that they had a technical glitch. That glitch that they've still not explained to the Nigerian people so guys that is where we are today let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell thank you